Hi, what's up, you guys? This is your girl, So with Brit Brit, and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So today, we are going to learn two ways on how to make inseam pockets. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate you guys two different ways on how to properly sew inseam pockets on your garments. Anyway, to learn how to make inseam pockets, make it sure to continue on watching this tutorial to see the full creative process. Here are the tools and the materials that I'll be using for this tutorial. Fabric, pattern papers, fashion rulers, pencil and fabric markers, fabric and paper scissors, and of course, my sewing machine. For the pocket pattern draft, I am going to draw a vertical line first, like this one. After that, I'll measure out 6 inches for the opening of my inseam pocket. Next, I'll just simply place my hand on a pattern paper and I will draw a freehand pocket tracing the shape of my hand, like this one. So there you go. This will be my pocket pouch and I'll just put 4 eighths of an inch of sewing allowance and mark the 6 inches for reference. Next, I will cut four pieces of this pattern on my fabric. And next, I will cut four pieces of panels approximately 10 inches long and 7 inches wide. Note that this is only for tutorial purposes. You can actually and directly use your patterns like your pants or skirt patterns for this one. Next, I will use my serger machine to clean the edges. First technique is inseam pocket with one fourth top stitch. From these two panels, I will mark down two inches on equal sides. And then I will mark down six inches for the pocket opening. Like this one. Next, I will place the first pocket pouch to the panel, right side to right side, matching the marks. From the 6 inches mark, extend a line towards the seam allowance, like this one. Start sewing from this side, and stop sewing at the other side. Using your scissors, snip the sewing allowance diagonally, like this one. But guys, don't snip beyond the stitch line. Next, turn to open the pocket pouch and top stitch by 3 millimeters. And fold the pouch inwards and you will already see the rectangular shape. From here, we will do another top stitch by 2 eighths of an inch to secure. Thank you. 
Next, get the second pocket pouch and face it to the first pocket pouch right side to right side. Pin everything in place and sew. And there you go. Now we can add the second panel. Next, place the second panel right side to the first panel and sew. Make it sure that the pocket isn't going to hit while sewing the second panel. Always check the pocket opening if you have to. And we are done. Complete the pocket by pressing the seams open and there you have it, an inseam pocket with one four top stitch. The second technique is invisible inseam pocket. This is by far the easiest and the quickest technique. Same procedure as the first one. From the panels on the right side, mark down at least two inches using your fabric marker and mark down again the opening of the pocket which is six inches. Get your two pocket pouches and place them right side to right side matching the marks like this one. Sew the two pocket pouches by 4 eighths of an inch depending on how much sewing allowance you used. For me, I used 4 eighths of an inch. Turn the pocket pouches out and give it a press. After that, top stitch the pocket pouches by 3 millimeters. Next, place the panels right side to right side and sew. Pivot the sewing once you've reached the mark over here. And sew the pouches together according to your allowance. And again, leave it here on the mark and continue on sewing.
give it a press, and there you go, you have an invisible inseam pocket. Inseam pockets are perfect for circle skirts, princess line seams, pants, and other kinds of skirts. This pocket gives a clean finish to every garment and it is one of the easiest pockets to make. Anyway, you guys, I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to make inseam pockets. I also hope this tutorial can help you with your upcoming sewing projects. If you're not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, Sew It With Brit, make it sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. And I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!